Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. By the end of this video you should be able to determine the concentration of an acid or alkali in moles per decimeter cubed and in grams per decimeter cubed from the reacting volumes and the known concentration of one of the two solutions. This is for triple chemistry higher only. In the last video we looked at how to carry out a titration calculation. In this video we're going to learn how to tackle slightly more complicated examples. Here's a sample question. 20 centimeters cubed of hydrochloric acid were required to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of calcium hydroxide with a concentration of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Calculate the concentration of the acid. Okay, as we saw before, first we write the letters C equals, N equals, and V equals under both the acid and the alkali like this. Now we fill in the information. The concentration of the calcium hydroxide is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, and the volume is 0.025 decimeters cubed. The volume of the hydrochloric acid is 0.02 decimeters cubed. Now we can calculate the number of moles of the calcium hydroxide by multiplying the concentration by the volume. Multiplying 0.1 by 0.025 tells us that we've got 0.0025 moles of calcium hydroxide. Looking at the chemical equation, we can see that we've got a large 2 in front of the hydrochloric acid here. This tells us that 2 moles of hydrochloric acid react with every 1 mole of calcium hydroxide. We know that we've got 0.0025 moles of calcium hydroxide, so that means that we must also have 0.005 moles of hydrochloric acid. Now we can calculate the concentration of the hydrochloric acid, and to do this, we divide the number of moles by the volume. The number of moles is 0.005, and the volume is 0.02 decimeters cubed. Putting these numbers into the equation gives us a concentration of 0.25 moles per decimeter cubed for the hydrochloric acid. We can also calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed, and to do this, we multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the relative formula mass of hydrochloric acid. Hydrochloric acid has a relative formula mass of 36.5. Multiplying 0.25 by 36.5 gives us a concentration of 9.125 grams per decimeter cubed. Here's a question for you to try. 24 centimeters cubed of sulfuric acid were required to neutralize 25 centimeters cubed of sodium hydroxide with a concentration of 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Calculate the concentration of the acid. Pause the video now and try this yourself. Okay, start by writing the letters C equals, N equals, and V equals under both the acid and the alkali like this. Now enter the information that we've been given. The concentration of the sodium hydroxide is 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed, and the volume is 0.025 decimeters cubed. The volume of the sulfuric acid is 0.024 decimeters cubed. Now we calculate the number of moles of the sodium hydroxide by multiplying the concentration by the volume. Multiplying 0.1 by 0.025 tells us that we've got 0.0025 moles of sodium hydroxide. Looking at the chemical equation, we can see that we've got a large 2 in front of the sodium hydroxide here. This tells us that 2 moles of sodium hydroxide react with 1 mole of sulfuric acid. We've got 0.0025 moles of sodium hydroxide, so we must have 0.0125 moles of sulfuric acid. Now we can calculate the concentration of the sulfuric acid by dividing the number of moles by the volume. 0.0125 divided by 0.024 gives us a concentration of 0.052 moles per decimeter cubed to three decimal places. To calculate the concentration in grams per decimeter cubed, we multiply the concentration in moles per decimeter cubed by the relative formula mass. The relative formula mass of sulfuric acid is 98. Multiplying 0.052 by 98 gives us a concentration of 5.096 grams per decimeter cubed. Remember you'll find plenty more questions on titration calculations in my revision workbook, and you can get that by clicking on the link above. Ok, so hopefully now you should be able to determine the concentration of an acid or alkali in moles per decimeter cubed and in grams per decimeter cubed from the reacting volumes 
and the known concentration of one of the two solutions.